Hello everyone. So this video is about the important questions of real estate design and testing with the subject code 21 EC 63. So let's go to the model is important questions. So in model one, the important questions are with the uh, necessary circuit diagram. Explain the operation of uh, tri-state inverter. Also realize 2 is to 1 marks using a tri-state inverter. Then realize the CMOS gate for the following function. Uh, type of problems and implement the following CMOS uh, logic like uh, inverter to input NAND gate to input NOR gate and transmission gate. Then draw the circuit diagram of a CMOS inverter with the help of a transfer characteristics or uh, draw the uh, circuit for CMOS inverter and explain its DC transfer characteristics. Then implement a D flip flop using transmission gate and explain its operation with necessary timing diagram. Then explain the following non ideal IV effects uh, that is a uh, channel length modularization, mobility degradation, body effect. Uh, Subthreshold voltage, uh, junction voltage, and temperature and uh, geometry dependency. Then derive the equation for drain current of a MOSFET in the saturated and uh, uh, non saturated region of the operation or explain the operation of MOSFET with necessary diagrams. Also derive the equation for drain current in the linear and saturation region. Then explain uh, noise uh, margin briefly and calculate uh, the output voltage V out in the pass transistor as shown in the circuit below. So this is VG1, VG2, and VG3. Uh, this is 2 volt, 3 volt and 4 volt and 5 volt and this is the V out. Okay. Then in uh, module 2, the important questions are explain the various steps in a CMOS NOL process with the necessary diagram and explain the lambda rules for wires, contact cards and transistors. Then uh, problems on stick diagram, for example, Y is equal to A, B, C plus D whole bar and to input NAND get or Y is equal to A plus B plus C whole bar. Then describe with the need sketches the fabrication of CMOS inverter and also explain different types of uh, MOSFET capacitance. Then what is logical if, uh, logical effort? Calculate the logical effort for the following two input NAND gate, uh, three input NAND, three input NOR and inverter. Then explain the following delay models uh, with, uh, briefly with examples like RC delay model, Elmore delay model and linear delay model then uh, develop the rc delay model to compute delay of the logical circuit and calculate the delay of the unit size inverter during uh, driving another uh, unit inverter then explain with the waveform the propagation delay rise time and fall time of a cmos uh, explain with the following example bubble pushing asymmetric gates skewed gates cascode uh, voltage switch uh, logic then uh, make use of necessary waveforms to define the following terms propagation delay, contamination delay, uh, rise time, fall time, edge uh, time. Then in model 3, the important questions are make use of a necessary circuit diagram, explain the operation of three transistor dra DRAM uh, cell, then that is DRAM cell, then explain the operation of full MOS, explain the operation of full, MOS, full CMOS uh, SRAM cell with necessary topology explain with the operation of a 4 cross 4 and be, uh, based uh, ROM array with necessary circuit diagram and with the necessary circuit diagram explain the operation of NOR flash memory cells with bias conditions explain hysteresis characteristic of ferroelectric uh, capacitor with necessary diagram explain the historical uh, evolution of DRAM cell explain how a 4 cross 4 uh, NOR based RAM array works with diagram and explain semiconductor memory classification uh, dra uh, ITD RAM cell uh, row column decoders and mechanism of uh, flash memory then in fourth module like uh, problems that like uh, for a circuit using boolean difference you have to detect the stack at zero and stack at one fault at x2 and uh, determine partial boolean difference for uh, this so this type of problems may ask may be asked for like 10 marks or more than 10 months also then uh, differentiate uh, between uh, fault and failure with an example and uh, explain different types of stuck at fault with example then what is fault diagnosis of uh, fault or diagnosis and explain one dimensional path sensitization technique for combinational circuits with an example explain st uh, stuck open and bridging faults with, uh, with its types and examples explain breaks and its types delay faults and types temporary faults and its types and uh, types of fault detection then explain your uh, intermittent fault model and uh, continuous parameter uh, marco model with example explain uh, PODEM algorithm and also explain the detection of multiple faults in CLC then uh, find a test pattern for the line uh, line 6 that is uh, stuck at 0 for the circuit shown in the figure here the line 6 stuck at 0 fault you have to find a, a, a test pattern then uh, in module 5 the important questions are like uh, for the following one table is given and you have to find the response for 101 sequence homing, homing tree distinguishing tree so present state and input is given then explain the various phases involved in checking experiments based on sequential circuit then explain the process of uh, testing sequential circuit as uh, iterative combinational circuits 
explain how the test uh, generation process is uh, carried out in sequential circuits what are the conditions for node to become terminal in homing tree and distinguishing tree design rules for testing of uh, embedded modules uh, and use of uh, state register ad hoc then with the need diagram uh, explain clock and hazard free latches used in uh, lssd technique and differentiate between single and double latch lssd with the advantages of each then uh, define the terms controllability and observability with an example explain a uh, scan path and uh, explain scan path and lssd technique in detail defining the design rules for uh, lssd so these are the important questions so study well for your exams all the best and uh, thank you